So how about Denise? Denise now we hear about her. Hear about Explain me, your yeah. own result. Uh, this one, okay, this one I will expect. I don't know whether it's true. Or you just tell me whether it's true. I'm always curious. Can you help me to lock this one? Ah, maybe they are. Or uh, maybe, um, whatever. Yeah. It's not important. So, EN, uh, I'm an ENFP. I'll okay. put it in the comments below. So, ENFP. Mm -hmm. My characteristic traits is I'm always curious. Mm -hmm. I look for a deeper meaning in life. Mm -hmm. I prize like, individuality and authenticity. Okay. Because I believe in each person should have a right to pursue their own happiness. Okay. And I'm easily bored by details. Easily what? Bored by details. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Don't and then she married a guy who exactly like that. <sighs> you know, that's what I thought. I'm like, and then I have to struggle. I struggle so much to try to pay attention, continue because after a while my mind will just <laughs> and then I enter into my own fantasy world. Apparently, uh, I'm full of a fantasy. My fantasy world is very rich. <laughs> For I uh ENFP people, and my fantasy world is very rich. So basically, uh, when he talks and sometimes, sometimes you know it's too much details, right? <laughs> like a PowerPoint. <laughs> then after I just like. <laughs> And then I just I get lost. This is sometimes all so, okay. Later when guys come over, later when they talk, the same thing will happen again because they are both very detail oriented ones. And they start talking about details. They're gonna talk about work later. I say work like detail oriented. You know, after a while you see our zone out. Then I'll start playing my phone. I will go around play with Ava's toys. Probably will be more fun. You see, after I walk away, then I'll come like, oh your 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 comment finished. Oh yeah, okay done. Is it have one okay? Yeah, I, I don't, don't have it. Yeah, I don't mind. It's okay, fine. Enjoy. Maybe <laughs> salt and lamb. Okay, do you remember? Okay, so famous people for ENFPs, Robert Downey Jr. I don't know. Which is no the Iron Man. Oh, I see. Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, okay. okay. That's that's matching you. Yeah. Yeah, and I realize a lot of these famous people they are all in the media. Yeah. They are all like the ah, oh, what's up, people? <laughs> And then, and then you know her famous people like Michelle Obama, <laughs> all the smart people, Elon Musk. Okay, he's a bit, he's a bit sort of boring. Like. Yeah, I know people like me boring. I, I heard that often. You know, even Ava come to the age right, I tell you every She's day. To judge you. Every day she judge me. Or the way I'm going to school. Yes, that's what she told me. She said, "Mommy, I love you, but I need to tell you one thing. You too plain. <laughs> like you plain from your dress to, your to yourself." <laughs> you blame. You too blame for me. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you. And she, and you know, when you keep tell you one time, you feel okay. You you hurt me once. This is every morning. Every morning, she she tell me the same thing. <laughs> is it because of what you dress when you send her to school? Yeah, I, I like this. Like just one dress every day or one gym clothes. Every Whatever day. that you are going to use later. Yeah, like because I need to be practical. I have to plan if I wear this. Yeah, and I go I mean, many according places. to her schedule. Sometimes that's I meet her outside if you're not doing a uh, live stream or recording or yeah. anything. If you know, and you're not going to somewhere sexy with handsome guys and oh. all that. You she just wearing her gym um things and just walking around everywhere. Yep. And I don't care. The whole day she's just wearing her jeans. Yeah. Face. Because first of all, I'm sweat a lot because mm -hmm. I'm a I'm exercise a lot. So even trust me, even right now I'm sitting with aircon, my armpit is sweating. So I learned my lesson. No matter what I dress, I look like S, you know, piece of S. So I'm like, what's the point of dressing when you know your whole body was soaking in sweat? Unless she okay, but to be to your to benefit that time we met her for dinner one kind I she changed into a dress after her jeans. Yeah. <laughs> because But like, the dress is a one piece, so it's easy yeah, that's to it. pull inside of Exactly. Her. So it's like if I'm aware that I have to meet someone that I will respect the person I have to meet. She will make some plan. I will make some plan that I bring clothes light enough that I still can wear but at the same time. And also when I go right I have to know like I will take taxi there and I will straight away go to the place and Singapore is super humid. Okay, like if you are the person who's sporty like me, mm. trust me, you will sweat all day. Like sweat, not not wet all or whatever. Day, it's just all day. sweating from head to toe because you just your body just burn fat automatically, right? Isn't that good? It's good, but at the same time, it's annoying. Trust me, I have to shower like five, ten times a day, and I never feel enough. 
<laughs> really, really. I just shower before the news come. And I trust me, after this show, I will shower again. If I sit for a while, I have to shower again before I bed now. Morning, I have to shower before I'm out. In the gym now, I have to shower halfway <laughs> because I go for... I don't want... I'm, I'm look like a soggy piece of power to the next uh, MMA class. So it's like <laughs> a consistent thing that you need shower all day because you sweat so much. It's, it's good and it's annoyed at the same time. I know I have to sweat. I know I have to sweat so my skin looks good, but at the same time, it's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying. Singapore is so humid. Last time, I don't sweat at all. Oh, really? How come I you said, don't sweat? Because I, my, I don't exercise much more last time. Okay. And then I don't look out much. But I'm glad to report that nowadays, I also suffer from a sweaty armpit. So I guess it's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I sweat the armpit. I sweat the whole time. Okay. Morning. Okay. So if you <laughs> get back to the INTJ. So if you're an INTJ, your career should be challenging. Preferably, you should do something to do with finance or business. Perfect for her. So I, mean, I am where I am because exactly what I need yes, to do. I am where I am because, okay, so basically for my career, which is an ENFP, I should have something that's creative and meaningful, which is either media, communication, or education. Exactly. It's like beating the Perfect. Children. She there. In the right part of her life. <laughs> but but we, babe, I will never change what I told you from day one. I, mean, I know, you know, but like, it's interesting. She born with this. She didn't appreciate and didn't see that much. But trust me. I didn't see this. In Singapore, I haven't seen any a second person I feel deserve to do this work. Because you see a lot of people do it in Singapore. Exitingly. I saw it. But I don't feel the authenticity oh, level. Like job, that's yeah. what I love about her. One thing that. She has the authentic that I can capable to do work with. Because I meet a lot of people that when they in the public the different with the oh, drivers. Yeah, yeah. And I Sorry, hate that. I don't understand. You don't need to understand Google. <laughs> you just shut up. You see, sometimes you're in the house, a uh, Google shout so big, uh, you scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? No, you just keep quiet. You don't I, need to understand. Just, I, I just turn off when people in public different with when the private. Mm. I was just so scared of them. It was actually quite frustrating also because whenever we get guests on, right? Uh, last time when I was doing what I was doing before Spice and Nice, right? Mm-hmm. I had guests on, and it was very frustrating for me when there are some guests whom I met up with, mm. and it was very frustrating for me because they were so different from how they were when we were alone. Exactly, and I couldn't bring out their real self. Which yeah, was yeah so much more interesting yes and it was it was just difficult right? and that's what the point i want to bring up right when we go to this media thing everybody already fake mm-hmm. so if you want to really win over because the point of bring somebody to our channel our podcast or our video is because we want to bring the true person to the public mm-hmm. right that's our attention by the way in the first place we didn't want to bring someone that Fake, because fake is easy to find. Trust me, fake is the most easy thing. Tomorrow you can pick anybody because per day I have a ton of emails sent over that they want to be in my platform. Do I say yes to them? Hell no, I don't. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cocky. People think like, oh, you're cocky. You don't want to help other people to be famous. I say, don't get me wrong. I'm not cocky. I will support you if you genuinely want to use my platform to deliver some value. But this is clearly mm-hmm. like just for their own personal agenda. Yeah, I, I cannot I cannot do that because I not even do that. Why do I do something like that? Anyway, to be to be fair, it's her platform. She can do whatever she wants. <laughs> right, I mean You see that's why I don't work with her. But she say exactly what I mean and she know what yeah, I mean. It's and she our don't have platform. A... We can just do whatever we like. Unless it is illegal, then please don't no, do of course, it. No. Shall we look at your Romantic relationship. Oh my god, now you make me excited. So <laughs> tell me, what was that? Oh, so what type of the way did we talk about perfect match? Already? So, what is romantic? Thing? It's the same, all the ENTs. Okay, so what all was the that? ENTs and my and me? Tell ENT. me, team, cut this part. I will send to my future husband, <laughs> dear future husband.